Volvo is courting youthful, premier-minded buyers with the XC40, a stylish sub-compact crossover drowning in charm and packed with tech. This quirky little Swede imparts a carefree feeling so real that you can practically hear it humming ABBA's Dancing Queen as it hustles through traffic. Inside its stylish cabin, much effort went into making the XC40 as functional as possible while maintaining the comfort, spaciousness an upscale ambience we expect from modern Volvos. Driving delight is also a part of the equation, the XC40 is a sprightly and nimble partner that feels as at home on twisty back roads as it does on long distance highway cruises. The littlest Volvo crossover brings a funky element to the lineup while adding to the brand's cachet, style, and spirit. Highs fun and funky styling, refined interior, technologically advanced features. Lowe's grainy engine sound, an exception of fuel economy, laggy infotainment. Verdict the baby Volvo crossover exerts its personality without straying from the brand's core values. What's new for 2019? The XC40 is an all new entry into the sub compact luxury crossover segment, echoing the brand's contemporary styling and adding a dash of whimsy. At launch, the only powertrain offered is the T5 which consists of a 248-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder, an eight-speed automatic transmission, and all-wheel drive. A less powerful front-wheel drive T4 model will go on sale in summer 2013. Trims and options we'd choose of the XC40's three trim levels, we'd choose the sporty design model which adds navigation, 19-inch diamond-cut aluminium wheels, paddle shifters, upgraded suspension components, and a more dynamic wardrobe of interior and exterior flourishes. We'd also pay $750 for a heated steering wheel and front seats, and we'd select the $900 premium package that includes adaptive cruise control with a semi-autonomous driving mode, folding cargo floor with hooks for shopping bags, wireless smartphone charging pad, power folding rear seat backrest. Our chosen XC40 weighs a price tag of $40,345, but we think the upgrades are well worth the cost. Be advised, any color other than black will add $595 to the bottom line. Volvo also offers a buying alternative for XC40 customers, a subscription service that it calls Care by Volvo. It includes use of a new XC40 Momentum $600 per month or design $700 per month for a maximum of 15,000 miles per year, insurance, maintenance, and road hazard protection, and the opportunity for the lessee to upgrade to a new XC40 each year for the same all-inclusive monthly payment. A subscription lasts for 24 months. We think this option has questionable value but it may be convenient and flexible enough to attract some indecisive buyers. Under the hood of every XC40 is a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder making either 184 or 248 horsepower called T4 and T5, respectively. The more powerful T5, which receives all-wheel drive as standard, helped our momentum test vehicle scoot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a reasonably brisk 6.3 seconds. The less potent T4 will come with front-wheel drive only when it goes on sale in summer 2018. The 8-speed automatic transmission handles gear changes without delay and transmits no harshness to the cabin while doing so. Our sole complaint is the coarse engine sound and a heavy throttle, when cruising. The powertrain is as quiet and refined as it is in other applications throughout the Volvo lineup. Manual shifting capability While our momentum test vehicle offered manual shifting via the shift lever, the mid-range design trim comes with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters rendered in a lovely metallic plastic. Tow ratings compare towing capacity is something that's a rarity among sub-compact luxury crossovers. The XC40 boasts a stout 3,500 pound limit that easily exceeds the Lexus NX's rating. Despite competitive fuel efficiency ratings from the EPA, the XC40 T5's performance in RL world testing turned out to be merely average in this matchup. The environmentally conscious among us could wait for the detuned T4 powertrain, 
which will launch in summer 2018 and is expected to be slightly more efficient. We've devised our own fuel economy test in an attempt to replicate how most people drive on the highway. Our procedure entails a 200-mile out-and-back loop on Michigan's I-94 highway. We maintain a GPS verified 75 miles per hour and use the cruise control as much as possible to mimic the way many drivers behave during long trips. The uber-efficient Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 and the spunky three-cylinder Mini Cooper Countryman both handily beat the XC40 in our testing, and both also offer more voluminous fuel tanks which contribute to their all-star highway driving ranges. Despite its compact dimensions and playful, agile handling, the XC40 feels pleasantly substantial. Its steering is direct, its braking performance is reassuring, and the 248-horsepower version of the turbocharged 2.0-liter inland fur is plucky. Acceleration We haven't yet had the chance to test the XC40's 184 horsepower T4 version of the 2.0 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder, but the 248 horsepower T5 engine scoots the littlest Volvo around with gusto. Our momentum test vehicle managed a 6.3 second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, quicker than most of its rivals here. Ride, handling, and steering on a twisty road, the Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 or the BMW X1 are more willing partners, but the XC40 holds its own. The Volvo feels stable and playful, thanks in large part to steering that is light, sharp, and responsive. Our momentum test vehicle exhibited a controlled and supple ride over the harsh, potholed roads around our editorial offices in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Upgrading to one of the XC40's 20-inch wheel options will erode some of that comfort, but those lucky enough to live outside the rust belt will find still find the ride calm and agreeable. The sporty design model comes with a slightly stiffer suspension for enhanced agility, an adjustable suspension is optional and adds $1,000 to the price of any XC40 model. Breaking the XC40's brakes delivered an impressive result in our emergency braking test. The pedal of our test vehicle felt reasonably linear, if a little soft in the initial bit of travel. In traffic, the brakes were easy to operate smoothly.